Plot Whisperer here, Martha Alderson, and I am doing the next session for the glossary, plot glossary series. And this time I want to talk about the rough draft versus all the other drafts of writing a screenplay, novel, or memoir. The rough draft is the first draft, and it's rough because the writing is usually very rough. Um, it's not the time to finesse what you're writing or to go back over and make it perfect. The rough draft is to get the skeleton of the story down so you can stand back and see what the story is really all about and then you can go back in and work on it in depth. And the rough draft is very different from any of the subsequent drafts in that it's where inspiration comes. It's very much the generative stage. It's where whatever it is that comes, you know, if the muse is coming from outside of yourself and sort of channels through you um, so that you can write it on the page. You want in the rough draft to really turn off the critic because this is not the time to stifle inspiration. This is the time to invite it in, to stay really loose, allow yourself to see what comes, how it comes, and just get the words on the page all the way through to the end of the draft so that you have at least one clean, you know, good draft that's rough and that's messy and that you read it and you're embarrassed and you hope nobody in the world ever sees it. And then in subsequent uh, drafts is where the actual craft of writing comes into play. That's when you really use all of the skills that you are going to learn from my book, The Plot Whisperer, or any workshops that you take for writing. That's when you're going to use those skills in order to make the book into a pleasing form for the reader or the audience. So, um, if you need more on the rough draft or subsequent drafts, it goes into depth in the Plot Whisperer book and in my um, other book, the plot, uh, Blockbuster Plots Pure and Simple. So, um, or you can visit my YouTube channel, Martha Alderson, uh, at YouTube. So, I'll see you next Monday. Thanks.